Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Glasgow. We're at a different gym. Normally I'm up in Green Gears, Billy Nelson, but we're at, I've got a wee hang up there. Look, AMC Boxing. It's not Andrew McCart Boxing, it's Alan's gym. So, uh, yeah, not a bad wee set up in here. Oh, it's an excellent gym. Uh, it's a gym that's open to the public. Um, we're fortunate enough when we train in the mornings and afternoons, it's a little bit quieter. So, uh, Alan's been fantastic with us, letting us use the gym well. Uh, an issue with the water's getting resolved in, in, in my gym with the council, so I don't, don't know how long that's going to take, but it's seven weeks now, so Alan's been fantastic letting us use the gym. Like I said, Billy, um, Martin's obviously, I was on it you all week, when's this going to get announced? It's got announced uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, and it was announced, I think, at the beginning of the last week or two weeks ago, that Martin Bacoli is going to face Carlos Takam out in Saudi Arabia on the undercard of Fury vs. Ngannou. Now, I follow him on Instagram and I've seen that he's been lucky enough to be down in Morecambe to spot Tyson Fury and he must be doing something right if Tyson's asking for him back. Well, I've, as I've told you, I mean, it's, it's fantastic span between the two and uh, we've also been getting a few rounds with uh, a guy called Solomon Dacus, who's, who's a good fighter as well. Obviously, Carlos Takam, he's uh, from Cameroon in Africa, African sort of derby, if you will, against uh, Martin Bacoli. What, you, what, what kind of Carlos Takam are you expecting? Obviously, we know how tough he is, how game he is, and come forward fighter. Um, what kind of fight are you expecting from Martin Bacoli and Carlos Takam? I think you get the, the same kind of Carlos Takam all the time, come forward, aggressive fighter. Uh, well, he's going to be meeting somebody that's going to be meeting him in the middle of the ring this time and we'll see what he's like boxing on the back foot with a lot of punches coming to him each round. Like I said, the platform that he's, he's on right now is obviously, Frank Warren himself has said this is the biggest show he's ever been involved in with Francis Ngannou, so it's going to be huge, a spectacle, a show, uh, like, uh, from his own words. Um, so it's a good platform for Mark Bacoli to showcase and maybe get in fights that he's always been harping on about. He's been calling out everybody. A good performance against Carlos Takam. Do you expect him in with a top 10 guy? Because I saw that he's number 10 in the Ring magazine. Obviously he's number 2 with the WBS, I believe. So, um, yeah, get Carlos Takam out of the way and then can we expect a guy above him in that in the Ring magazine rankings? Uh, 100%. Just change my shoulder. 100%. Uh, Martin will fight anybody in the world if the deal's right. Absolutely, anybody. You know, there's no, there's no quite, People don't want to fight him. You know, he's a, an avoided fighter. But uh, there might be something big in the pipeline. I say after this fight, I was absolute. I've been, I've been asked about something, and if it comes off, it's going to be f phenomenal. You know me. You, you, I won't say. I won't press it because you probably can't say anything, and you'll tell me f, f off. Uh, that's what you normally do, Billy. So I won't, I won't press you on it because I, you've told me and told me to keep it a secret. A wee bit. So. No, I don't know if I'm winding you up. Um, yeah, he needs these big fights, Martin, doesn't he? Because it's almost like he's still in that sort of bracket where these names don't want to fight him because he's not got that following or whatever the excuses may be that he hasn't got that backing or the following, doesn't bring much to the table. That's why these fighters don't want to fight him. But gets a good win against uh, Takam on a big platform. These fights are there next. It's not that he's no good. They don't want to fight him because he's too good. That's the bottom line. See, you've no got a following. You bring nothing to the table. Risk, high risk, low reward. Lost shite. Come and fight him, man. Come and fight him. Derek Chisora, where are you? You, you? you tell us we have to fight. Uh, what was his name? Fraser Clark or Dave Allen. What's wrong with fighting him? I mean, he's fighting a, a man that's shot to bits. And uh, was it Washington, the boy's name? Jared Washington. Jared Washington. And he looked terrible doing it. So, no wonder he wants to say a free box like that against Mark Bacoli when they go two rounds. Mm. I swear to God, it wouldn't go two rounds. But there's, there's so many, there's so many out there that have said, no, it's embarrassing. Mm. It's absolutely embarrassing. But we've been fortunate enough to get on this show. And I'm very grateful mm. to get on the show. And if Ma when, God willing, Martin comes through the, with a good performance and injury free, that could be something really big before the turn of the year. And, I, and I'll listen, and I hope it does come off because the big man deserves it because he does put in the work as well, so he does deserve it. So that being said as well, I will mention this though, Billy, because I know how long you've been chasing the likes of these Daniel Dubois fights, the Joyce fights and whatnot. Now that they've come off losses and Martin's got that ranking, like I said to you, he's number 10 in the ring magazine. You mentioned he's number two in the WBA. Um, Joyce and Dubois will be wanting to get back to that number one spot, to get back into them world rankings, get, get back to that number two, at least number one ranking in one of the organisations. Would you give a Joyce or a Dubois 
the opportunity. I know they didn't give you the opportunity a few years ago or whenever it may be, but would you give them the opportunity to face Martin for his rankings? Both have my number. Daniel DeBoer would not touch Martin with a barge pole. The, the fight wouldn't go four rounds, but mark my words. Joe Joyce, well, I chased Joe Joyce for about six years, and I feel sorry for what happened to Joe in, in a fight because it was it was hard watching that because he's such a nice man. Mm. Uh, but if he was wanting it, it's not, make the phone call. All we want is a, a good deal. Good deal, get the fight. Anybody in the world, anybody. But those two, no problem whatsoever. And I've said it for a long time, I'm not just saying it because they're coming off defeats. I've always told you, Martin will beat both of them with these. Mm. I want to change my shoulder again, Billy, because... You're weak, Andy. I'm weak, I'm weak, man. But I forgot my tripod because it was a spontaneous visit today. So I forgot my tripod. Um, yeah, I mean, looking forward, though, when you look at the number, the, 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 the nine above Martin on, in the rankings at Ring Magazine, they're the guys you want, though, re realistically, right? We want it. Any of them, any of them. Certainly from four down away, Martin beats any of them. Mm. No questions asked, any of them. The only per the only two people to give Martin Bacoli a fight, in my opinion, in the world just now, are three. Obviously Tyson, Usyk, but I do believe Martin would stop Usyk, he's, he's got his beating. And the guy I rate really highly, J Jabalov, uh, Jabalov, uh, whatever his name is, Jol he's very good. That's, well, that's just the three, and Jabalov's no in the, or near the top 20 just now. Mm -hmm. but he'll get there. Definitely. And I've, I've, I've witnessed him out in Dubai. I think you were out in Dubai. They fought the same time as Thor, right? Um, Sosalowski. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Um, obviously, the news as well from, from last week was Usyk and Fury being signed. Um, there's obviously no fight date, no venue, no, nothing like that, but we're getting the... We're getting good words from Frank Warren and his excellency out in Saudi Arabia that it has been signed and it will go ahead, but no date. So you're, you're, you've been in the sport long enough, William. Um, unless we have them in the ring and that first bell goes, are you confident this fight goes ahead? A million percent. Mm. A million percent the fight goes ahead. Uh, the one thing about Frank Warren, he, he can make a fight. He can make a fight. And, and other people around about have, uh, you know, have helped make the fight. Uh, there's no hairs and graces. He, he makes the fights. He gives the, the boxers opportunities. So fair play to him. It's, uh, it's the biggest fight possibly ever. It's the most gross uh, heavyweight fight anyway ever. Uh, if the figures that are getting branded about are true, fair play to the two of them. I believe it's a two-fight deal. So fair play. I mean, obviously that rematch clause again. But if it's a rematch, and then the, the belts get held up again, unless the mandatories, because there's going to be mandatories needing filled, Hergovic being one of them. So, you, are you expecting the winner, if the rematch, if the loser does activate his rematch clause, those belts become fragmented again, and then hopefully a Mark Bacoli, a Hergovic, or whatever can fight for a vacant title. Most certainly, Hergovic will fight for it, and I think he'll be fighting Wallen because Wallen won an eliminator against the Gassiev. Uh, and it's, it was stated by the WIBF that it was for the number two position. So, um, it would be, in my opinion, it's got to be Hrugovic versus uh, Wallen for the IBF because that, that title will be given up so that the, the rematch, if both fighters want the rematch, can get done. And I also think the, the WBO might get uh, relinquished as well. Mm -hmm. But Martin's WBA. Right, so um, that's, the last one the that's the last one on the list because Dubois already f had that. So um, because Martin is number two, obviously that Mandri isn't getting called, but if they do end up vacating that belt and just fighting for the ring magazine and WC that Tyson's held and he loves that WC belt, Tyson, Martin's got a chance at that WBA, right? 100%. We fight Wilder, two highest ranked fighters. Take that fight, no problem whatsoever. And you say Martin Bacoli, Deontay Wilder for the WBA world title, what does that do for you? It's just another guy that he's got to beat. Mm. It's, it's, it's just another man in front of you. He gets up, most respect, he's got power. And Martin beats him. Yeah. Martin, because he's got too much for him. He's got too much skill, too much head movement. He'll hit him with more punches than he's ever been hit with. Tyson gave us a blueprint. You don't go and slug with the heaviest puncher mm. in the world. You use your brain. It's something that... In my opinion, he lacks. He lacks 
IQ, and somebody like Tyson Fury's IQ is way above Wilder's, hence the reason he basically schooled him three times. Like I said to you, one final one, because like I say, my shoulders are killing me, I forgot my tripod, so that's my fault, unprofessional for me as always. But yeah, he's got a fight against Carlos Stackham, Martin Bacoli, and I'm looking forward to it. We know what Carlos brings, we know what Martin brings, so what can we expect on the 28th of this month? A fully fit Martin Bacoli, which he will be, and in three weeks' time, will stop Carlos Kakam. And I think he'll stop him within six rounds. Martin said two, I believe, or four. He's told me two. <laughs> so if it's two, then hey, happy days. If he wins, it's happy days, because there'll be bigger and better fights after that. Mm. And, and I'm not no showing any disrespect to Carlos, because he's a, 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 you know, a, a warrior. But he's going to get beat, and he's going to get beat bad, I think. Listen, like I say, I'm looking forward to it. It's top, it's heavyweight heavy. You say what you want about the, the Fury and Ganu fight, but the Wardley, uh, the uh, the Fabio Wardley Adelaide fights are very, very good fight that I'm looking forward to. So, um, and, and, uh, the, the Joe Parker versus Simon Keane will be a good fight. Yeah. But I think if Joe, if Joe, and I've told him this, if he, if he lays it on Simon early doors, he'll stop him. Mm -hmm. I can see it. it's a good undercard. I'm looking forward to it. But Billy, as always, thank you so much. And uh, no doubt I'll catch you in a couple of weeks. I'll give you that text message to come up and see you again. You know that. Well, you'll be in Saudi Arabia probably, so I won't give you a text message. <laughs> uh, give me a text if you want. <laughs> okay. right, Billy, enjoy it, big man. I'll see you soon, mate. Thank you.